While many in conservative media were applauding Senator Joe Manchin after he allegedly put a stop to the cancerous better before Biden bankruptcy boondoggle, I wasn't so convinced. Turns out I was right. Again, trusting socialist Democrats is like trusting the Grinch. Words to live by in tonight's preamble. On Monday, after Joe Manchin declared he was a no on Joe Biden's jaunt into socialism and economic ruin for the United States, I jumped on the Chris Salcedo radio show, told my audience that I had an uneasy feeling about pinning my hopes for a free, prosperous, and strong America on Joe Biden and Joe Manchin. In an ideal world, we should have been singing the praises of Mitch McConnell. If we'd had a GOP dedicated to winning the ideological battle with the anti-American socialist Democrats, a potential headline would have read from the Salcedo Gazette, Mitch McConnell holds firm, forces socialists to raise debt ceiling through reconciliation, end quote. But sadly, that didn't happen. Mitch McConnell turned the United States Senate into a pretzel to allow the socialist Democrats to raise the debt ceiling without using their final bite at the reconciliation apple. So then our hopes were all pinned on Joe Manchin, a lifelong Democrat who inspires distrust from both sides of the new political divide. When Manchin told Fox that he couldn't support the nearly $5 trillion spending bill, I knew Manchin was in for an onslaught. Socialists lost their ever-loving minds. They called Manchin all kinds of names. The White House openly attacked him. Left-wing talk show hosts who relished the idea of America abandoning free enterprise lashed out. Who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden, Madam Vice President? Come on, Charlemagne. I really Come on. I, it's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell no, sometimes. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do, it's Joe Biden. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe, and, it's Joe, and it's Joe Biden. And I'm vice president. And my name is Kamala Harris. <laughs> Wait, wait, Republicans? It's not Republicans who are putting Joe Biden's legitimacy in doubt. It's not Republicans who are saying that Joe Biden isn't really president. But all kidding aside, of course, President Harris is a proud Howard alum. <laughs> so the VP needs to back off. You can understand Americans' confusion about who's really in charge. Back to Joe Manchin. The socialists have been hammering him since Sunday. Anti-American luminaries from the Biden White House, Senator Bernie Panders, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and every left-wing lunatic under the sun opened up with both barrels on Joe Manchin. One of the most vicious attacks came from some nitwit by the name of Jamal Bowman. He's a left-wing extremist who was part of the so-called Progressive Caucus. He blamed Manchin for the dysfunction of our failed two-party system. So this is exactly why... Tens of millions of Americans don't care about our government, don't trust our government, and are done with our government. Not just the Republican Party, but the Democratic Party as well. Hmm. Wow. Done with our government? Sounds like he's a insurrectionist. Quick, somebody call Liz Cheney and crying Kinsinger. I'm sure they'll get right on that. Bowman then said that Manchin's rejection of Biden's socialism was, you guessed it, racist. I was infuriated uh, when I heard those comments, but I wasn't surprised because we had been sounding the alarm on this for several months, worried about what Manchin was going to do uh, when it was time for him to make a decision. It went from $3.5 to $1.75 because him, his special interests, his donors and lobbyists were cutting the bill for several months because they did not want this bill to pass. Why? Because this bill disproportionately supports uh, people of color. Wait, 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 wait. This Marxist is accusing Manchin of being a racist because the Better Before Biden bankruptcy bill, his words, disproportionately supports people of color. In other words, it favors people of color over whites. So that means that Biden's bill is, by definition, racist. A non-racist bill wouldn't discriminate against anybody on the basis of their skin color. It's tremendously frustrating for me as a black man in America because, once again, it's an example of Joe Manchin as a white man showing 
that he doesn't care about black people, he doesn't care about Latinos, he doesn't care about immigrants, he doesn't care about women, and he doesn't care about the poor. Bowman, you're a racist. Suggesting that we people of color can't make it on a level playing field, so we need to pass laws that disadvantages whites, really? Hey, Bowman, don't lump us liberty-loving Latinos in your little socialist group. Don't lump hard-working blacks into your little circle. You left-wing, your left-wing lunacy only leads to slavery, hatred, and poverty. And the polls show America is rejecting your anti-American values displayed in the regressive caucus. Now back to Manchin. When callers to my radio show were praising Manchin for saving the United States, I told them all to be cautious. Manchin has played this game before, duping West Virginians into thinking he's some sort of moderate. I told my radio audience that Manchin would wither. I said he'd be desperate to show morons like Bowman there and, and other left-wingers that he's really a good socialist Democrat. And lo and behold, I was right. Manchin telling the Politico that he may still support Biden's BBB and also target raising taxes on the American people by repealing President Trump's tax cuts. From 2016 to 2020, President Trump weathered relentless, unfounded, and vicious criticism. He stayed focused on delivering on his promises to we the people. That's what a real man does, a man who believes in a government of, by, and for the people. Manchin couldn't hack two days of criticism from his panty waist socialists. And let that be a lesson to all of you, my beloved audience. You can't trust socialist Democrats. They're always looking to steal somebody's Christmas. Because as the old song goes, Democrats are as cuddly as a cactus, as charming as an eel. Democrats have hearts like a bad banana with a greasy black peel.